Hello there guys and welcome to round 11 here at Elite League Racing Cup. Today we're going to race here in Italy after after joining this lobby after after we got a scare of an error code NS7. So I did the same technique as I did in Azerbaijan. Restarting the game and then joining the lobby that it did it did succeed. So well in Italy the last race I've won was here in Italy, the last season. So, can we repeat this win? Let's see if Tamal allow us. So, in qualifying we have to match Tamal if we if we have chances to win. So, let's head into the qualifying. Well, we're just waiting for Bernie to, to, to just be ready. So, let's get into qualifying. So, oh yeah, what I was talking is about, well, in that race I just won for the last time and I'm just and I'm yet to score a podium so let's see if we can do this thing and let's get into qualifying and the game just didn't allow me to do this thing. Just the game just decided to crash so well I just needed to rejoin the game. That was a bit of annoyance of, of that thing so at least it didn't it didn't it didn't appear me an error code or or else like that so it was just having to rejoin the lobby again. So, well, let's head into qualifying. So, after a bit of an annoyance of having to rejoin the game again, I successfully managed to join the qualifying session. And I just seen the World Warcast in the race. It's going to rain in some point of that race, but I don't know where when it's going to rain because the game doesn't show you. But According to my calculations, according to that track temperature and air temperature, I see that the rain may be, okay, maybe it's I think so, by the end of the race. Now. So I was just trying to get into the the wet setup, but unfortunately, I didn't have a wet setup for Italy. So yeah, I just decided to to just grab the the dry one and gamble it all. If, if it doesn't work, well, I, I wasn't so prepared. So. Well, let's head into that setup and let's begin with the qualifying lap with our great softs. So, heading into the flying lap, breaking into Parabolica, we need to get a great exit in order to get maximum top speed. Because if we don't reach that good exit, it might cost us a lot of tens of a second. So, here we are, heading into the flying lap. Let's see if we can break this into into the uh, Parente del uh, Rettifilio. Into turn 1, it was a bit of touching with the Sasha Scare, but then to turn 2, which is just a bit very decently into that thing. I don't know how to call it that corner. So then into Curva Grande, obviously doing flat out. Then breaking into Curva del Arroyo, I mean Pariente del Arroyo. I just went a bit wide and almost, oh, almost spinning to into the exit of that variante but then heading to Lesmo 1 I didn't touch the apex which is very bad then to Lesmo 2 also I think I just touched a bit but still we didn't and DRS is now activated let's head into into the Ascari chicken let's see if we can do this properly breaking into a hundred mark a bit beyond the hundred mark and we're just doing this a bit carefully because it's our first flying lap so we don't have to do this to gamble it all, it's not the, the last flying lap. So, then heading to the Parabolica corner. Let's see if we can do this thing very gratefully. And I think we just managed to do a decent lap here in Italy. What time is going to be? Let's see, a 120.497, which pushed us into provisional pole position. And ahead of Tamal. But the difference is that Tamar has just set lap time with the mediums, which is way slower than the soft, so... Well, I don't know if, if Tamar will just destroy my lap time, so... Let's see into that, into that lap time score in, in the telemetry box. Then, after we just got into the garage to see what, which are the lap times, I was just calculating how much time will you lost with the new softs and the new mediums and it was like 4 tenths of a second and Tamal was less than 4 tenths behind me so if if Tamal will make a lap time uh, with the soft tires in, in, those in those circumstances 
the man might be faster like for a 10 for 2 so I decided to do a flying lap again just in practice for the for the final flying lap uh, because we just using the the use soft so in order to have a chance to to beat Tamal into the qualifying we might have to use the new soft tires unless we just go got into those corners so yeah it's, it's almost impossible to do a lap time better than Tamal uh, the, with with those stars so yeah the next flying lap might be so let's get into the flying lap for practice so here we are beginning with the second flying lap heading to the parabolical corner exiting that corner we're going a bit into that corner just in case we can make a lot of top speed there is now activated and we see that we're just being one t one hundredths of a second slower than heading to turn one Let's see how much seconds will I gain. Which is like uh, uh, exiting in turn 2. We see that we didn't gain anything. Instead we just lose like 100 or a second more. So heading to the Curva Grande. We're just going flat out and heading to turn 4. Let's see which breaking and we just touched the bit of the grass. And we just locked up our brakes. Which means that our lap time is now ruined. But still I'm just going to keep up to memorize the corners just for practice to practice the corners I mean and then enter to the last mode too although the lap is now uh, ruined I'm just still going as fast as I can just for practice for the final flying lap so then head to the scar corner I'm just going to do this a bit a bit more aggressive and then head to the second corner of the other chicken exit in the third corner we just oh my goodness me we just spun and crashed into that exit of the scary chicken and thank god he was just only qualifying and it had the reduced damage because if it was on simulation damage we might have been dnf but still our lap time is well still ruined if if we'll we didn't spawn so still it was just for practice but still we, we needed to enter the box for to to replace our front wing and also the timer is just very very limited so we just only have five minutes to go so let's just be prepared for the final flying lap and then after we saw the the qualifying table we see that Tamal has just beaten us by over a half a second which means that it makes our challenge to to beat Tamal even harder and we just dropped into third position as Leopold set a faster lap time than me. So I'm just heading to Parabolica with a good check, with a good exit, I mean. So we could have a great, a great top speed. Then heading to the main straight, we see that we're just losing like a hundredth of a second. But well, let's see if we can have more time. We're heading to turn one. We just. Oh no, I just. We did it. We didn't get a lot of time, but then we just gained like um, half a tenth of a second. We just gained like almost a tenth in reality. And then to carry to turn three, we're just going almost into the inside, into the exit. But then to turn four, we're not going so like so to the to the edges of the or track. And oh my goodness, me, that was a bit of a of a too aggressive to the throw. Then carry to less more one, doing this perfectly, and we just set the fastest sector one. Which means that it gains us our opportunity to get pole position. We just already gained three tenths of a second, so this is very good. Can we can we go into a scratch game and do this very good? I think so because we're just going to those corners very aggressively. But instead, we didn't gain anything, so our chances for pole position may now be impossible. But heading for the front row, maybe so. Let's head into the parabolic corner. We can, we need to do a great exit of that corner in order to get the good lap. Head to the front row. Let's see what time it's going to be. A 120.162, which pushed us into the front row. So, tomorrow and myself, we're just going to be head to head. Just like Spain. But in this time, we don't have to be bottling up by the pressure. So, well. Wish me luck into the race. So here it is the qualifying results. Tamar and myself lock up the front row for the second time this season. Leopold is in third position. 
So I can see my teammate now is in fourth position. Santi and Ahmed made a, a third row from a third row. I mean, luck out for Red Bull. Five and six. Santi and Ahmed five and six. Jovan and Maelo may also a fourth row lockout for McLaren and the Ferrari fifth row lockout and then Williams only driver Marty is in 11th place Gaston Chetos in 12th and has made a 7th row lockout so these are the top 14 I don't know which are the beyond that point so still let's get into that race so well hope those drivers get up into the grid so heading for the strategy of the race this time we're going to under fuel more the car because it's going to rain in the in the second half of the race so we're going to start with mediums but we're just going to be a lot of conservative with those stars because the rain is going to be to come in like lap 20 or 21 i think so but Still, I think those mediums will last for that, for that those amount of laps. Still, maybe the rain will come a bit earlier, so I'm not risking for putting into those cards and make a terrible start. And well, let's get into that race. So we're just getting ready for the formation lap. We're just waiting for the players to get ready. So now that everyone is ready. Let's begin the formation lap. So, the ball is just going to have a great start, obviously, because... Well, we're just going to have an equal start, because we're just starting with the medium, so... We're just getting up the tires, and... And, well, I'm just going to do the best possible, and... Tamal, what are you doing? Why are you just, why are you just destroying the, the breaking points? Why? Why are you doing this to me? You just want me to suffer, because I don't use the... The assist line, the breaking assist line. So well, at least you didn't broke the the other side because you might make me a hard day. So well, thank God you didn't you didn't destroy those boards of the of the left instead of the right ones. So well, I'm just trying to get my first win of this season and also my first podium. So. Let's get prepared with those stars heating up and coming into the last corner we're just getting our stars free heated up and by getting those stars heated up when we're just getting stuck with the grid box and I'm just doing those crazy wheeling tires and I'm also doing aggressive use of those medium tires and I was just trying to to make a spin but I in, in the end I decided to not do this thing and instead maintain my tires into the conservative form so we're just lining up the the grid box and fortunately we didn't we didn't okay, get launched pole, too much nice so we did we did it decently so we're just waiting for more players to get parked and after that let's get started to, for this race the Italian Grand Prix can I make this win a back-to-back -back win of the Italian Grand Prix five results are to not it's like South and away we go now. I got a terrible start. We just dropped now into third position. Now into fourth position as Saxi is just trying to overtake me. But then heading to turn one. We're just trying to break and we just passed the break zone. We just missed the break zone and we just crashed into Leopard and caught the chicane as well as Tamal and Leopard and Nachmed. Though Tamal and Leopard got a five second time penalty. And I just got the three second time penalty, which means at the beginning that I'll be the 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 least advantageous disadvantageous man. But in reality, I'll be more in a disadvantage because in safety car, if they're safety car, they might box and serve the penalty, and and the three second time penalties doesn't yet serve the penalty. And we're just trying to overtake a little bit around the outside, touching the grass, and doing this bravely, but. He's just maintaining that pace well to well. I decided to not overtake because I didn't want to to block to lock the brakes and crash into him and spin. Well, I was just talking about uh, the the penalty was it cannot be servable with the three second one. So 
yeah, pretty bad for me. And and as the field punches up, I'll be the those guys with three second time penalty, while the others have already set their penalties. So I'm the one who's in more of a disadvantage. So heading to lap two, Sox is just trying to overtake me. He has already set the fastest lap now, and he's just trying to overtake me around the outside into turn one. I just decided to back up a bit because I was just trying to do the conservative form, and he just he just ran wide to turn two. So. That was just terrible and I was almost, almost got into 5th position but Ahmed is just trying to overtake me around the outside to turn 3. He can overtake me, he overtook me then to turn 4. He just break the beat. Oh I touched off grass. Uh, fortunately we didn't lock up our bricks and we just have great exit and better exit than Ahmed then got into Lesmo. He just did the corner very badly and we just overtook me. We overtook him, I mean, then to last mode 2, we're now into 4th position, so let's just go into a patient game, and we're just letting those drivers to fight e between each other, while our, we're just conserving our tires. But then heading to the last mode 2, now on lap 4, I was, I caught Saxi and, and Leopold, because I think they were fighting too much in there, and Saxi is just trying to overtake. Leopold down the inside to the scourge again, and then we see that Saxi just ran wide and crashed with Leopold, and they both ran wide, and that made me gave me two places, and that means I'm now virtually in the lead, because Tamal is now less than two seconds behind ahead of me, and Tamal has a five second penalty. Meanwhile, I have a three second one, so that means that five minus three equals two. So. Well, still I decided to just conserve my tires, but still, thank you for for those two free positions, Saxi and Leopold. Thank you for that thing. Although it wasn't in, in, intentional, so well, here we are, just continuing conserving the tires and also saving the fuel for the for the race ending. So, well, hope we can hope we can have that same pace and not going off the pace with Tamal so well let's get into other laps and meanwhile the other laps at this point although I was just concerned my tires the gap was still got reduced from 1.8 seconds at the end of lap uh, lap 6 now to 1.1 seconds at the end of lap 7 and then got reduced more to 0.6 now into the DRS zone at the start of lap 9 so that meant that yeah I got DRS but I didn't want to overtake Tamal because if I overtook Tamal, that might destroy a bit my tires, and also Tamal was just going to re-overtake me. So that means that I didn't. I just played the the intelligent game, so I decided to to not overtake if I just want to conserve my tires and and to see if the rain will come out in the next laps. Clouds are getting darker, and I'm just getting so near with Tamal that I don't want to overtake Tamal because I just want to conserve my minions and, and we see that Tamal just going to go to the pit lane and he and Tamal just actually goes to the pit lane and it's going to box for new tires and and I don't know why but but I think I'd rather stay out and and wait for the rain to come out and, and box for intermediates when 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 the track rains and we see that Tamal goes for softs I don't know why Tamal is going for softs if, if the rain's coming out like like lap 18 or 19. Uh, well, I think the softs might might last those amount of laps, but let's see if the gamble goes well. So I decided to just stay out and and I I was asking my engineer when it's going to rain, and the engineer said that it was going to rain in around five to ten minutes and. So I decided to just stay out and wait those minutes so I could box for intermediates when the rain comes out. So, well, let's just for now conserve our tires. And then heading out into lap 14, I'm just staying out, conserving my tires. And we're just waiting for the rain to come out. And I was just seeing for casualty what was the fastest lap overall. And well, that lap time they just heard by the engineer. If you, if you hear very good, and we see that 
other star boxing for the new tires and I was just expecting them to box for softs. Well, we see that Sucks is just going for hearts? What? And, and more people are going to box for, for I think, hearts even. I don't know why they're boxing for hearts. If Are they just listening to the engineer blindly? They, oh man, those people are just listening to every order and blindly without knowing if it's going to be right or wrong. But still, we're just making our gamble, our, we're minding our business and that means that if they're safety car well they might at least just save a little bit but if if rain comes out and there's no safety car I'll just go straight to the intermediates and they're just gonna be in a big December dish and have a dominant win but if it, if it comes out safety car now I'll, bo I'll just box war softs but I don't know man I think rain's coming out and I don't know, I just, I think I, if Ithika comes out, I think, in my mind, I think it says that we can go for intermediates, but I don't want to risk for it, and, and when safety car comes in, the rain still doesn't come out, or the rain isn't heavy enough to, so the slicks will be almost, uh, initiable, and we see that safety car has come out, safety car has come out, has been deployed, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't see the minimap, but we, I saw a jail flag and an alpha terrain into the scar chicken, but we're just going to box for soft as the rain isn't coming out, I think the engineer says that the rain's coming out in like a few laps, I decided to, come to box for softs, although the engineer said that I, that I should come for hearts, but Man, rain's coming. Are you seeing the weather? Man. Well, at least I'm not, or I'm not listening to the orders blindly. At least, but well, still heading to the, the pit lane and hope we can. We don't piss it up. We don't bottle it. So here we are, coming down to the pit lane and at least, uh, or well, I just breaking the delta line because I knew that I'll come out the pit lane before they give me a draft to penalty. We see that our tires now are 60% so I think I don't think my tires would last that amount of laps but still we just came out for pits and let's go for the soft tires so let's let's see if well I'm not going to lose any position because they're more than 38 seconds behind myself so I'm just doing a, a dominant race. If it wasn't by that safety car, I might have a, a dominant win, unless I just follow it out in the in the rain in the rain stages of the race. But then, in safety car, I was just seeing that they're beginning to to drop some drops, and uh, we see that we're just seeing some drops of rain. And safety car is coming in. Oh my goodness me! Uh, I was just planning to go for intermediate spot then safety car is in this lap so if if more people don't box for intermediates in this lap I might be in an advantage so well let's just box for intermediates and let's see if the gamble goes well and it's paid off so safety car is in this lap let's box for intermediates as the rain is coming out so let's let's not wait for more laps let's not wait more laps and let's go to pit with intermediates so let's go let's go to box for intermediates and let's see who others will box for intermediates i was just saying in my mind that it's going to be a suicide strategy suicide strategy it's going to be a suicide strategy so but i in my mind i said that no no man it's, it's just going to be a worth it it's going to be worth it it's not going to be suicide one and we see that the Yasmine also box for intermediates as well as Leopard so I'm dropping to 10th position but I'm not worried about that because they need to box for intermediates so let's see if, if that gap will be reduced or or lose positions if if the intermediates aren't going to perform well in those conditions but I think they'll perform in those conditions very well because the slicks are aren't going to perform 
in these drops of rain. So, if it if it was real life, they might aqua plane. They might aqua plane, and we see that we we were going to be aggressive with those with the throttle. And as you could see at the exit of the Barrente del Arroyo, I mean, we just almost been. Well, let's see if who others will box for intermediates. Let's see who are going to to be in a disadvantage. So then heading to Ascar Chicken. I was very slow. Oh no, I just got the corner because I just underestimated my braking. So well, let's see. Let's see if I can overtake Tamal. And let's see if we can do this thing. And we mean well Saxi has joined, so he can control himself. Then can into the parabolica. We see that the the track has been so wet that I think the others might be in a terrible disadvantage. They might not have nothing of grip. And we're just going to second position. And we see that Marty has just is leading by a dominant gap. By a dominant gap, I think he just boxed during safety car and he might pay it off well that gamble. So very good job for him. Let's catch him. Unfortunately, laps have passed and Marty's lead has been very dominant and I couldn't catch him because although 11 minus 3 is equals 8 and 15 minus 8 is equals 7. Uh, still I won't catch him because and the safety car has come out and the Marty's lead has faded away and that means that the field has punching up. So as you I said before, Marty's lead has been faded by safety car, and, I and uh, the race has just been so big that I was just wondering if, if we had to box for full wet. I was just asking my engineer, and he said that that intermediates are recommendable tires, but I think he's just saying a present term, present term instead of a future term. So I was just thinking to box for full wet, but I don't know, man. I was. I was just seeing if Martin box for full wets, he didn't. So I just I just said in my mind, no nah, man, I think we have to stay out in those intermediates. I think it's just to drive for for full wets, although it might be visually, but still I don't think. Because if there's a bit of sand standing water, I think I, I might call for full wets. For full wets. But I see that there's no standing water. So let's stay out with those intermediates as well as the field is punching up. And Victor is the only one who doesn't have any penalty. So if the safety car comes in and I overtake Marty, I need to be 3 seconds ahead of Victor in order to win the race. So, well, let's do this when safety car comes in. So here we are, heating up the tires. And I was. At this point, I was just thinking that we might have a la lap of safety car, but safety car is in this lap at the very last corner. So, well, safety car is in this lap, and we might have to do a great little relaunch in order to win the race. And we have to overtake Marty, but we have a terrible relaunch, and Victor just trying to overtake us down the inside into turn one. But I'm just going to deploy all my ERS, and then heading to turn one, and these are to not break too much in order to not block my brakes and I just forced him wide a bit with Victor into turn 2 so I'm now into second place and I think I just forced him wide too much then that Tamal overtook Victor and it's now less than a second behind me but still you know, can win the race and I'm just trying to overtake Marty he just took a, a horrible line into Valentino uh, Rojo and I was just trying to overtake down the inside to let's move one. Can I overtake him? Yes, we can. Uh, but still, I decided to just let him leave him a little bit of space just in case he just comes back into let's move two. But he didn't come back. And Victor, the gap is now into 1.5 seconds behind me. So I mean, I had to do that gap more than three seconds in order to win the race. But we see that Victor, the gap is just going to fade away and we see that Victor has a 3 second time penalty Victor has a 3 second time penalty that means that I'm now officially leading the race and Victor's gap is just fading away and and that means that I might have a dominant win 
so I don't have to be too aggressive in order to win the race because Tamel has 8 second turn penalty so 3 minus 8 equals minus 5 so the gap between Tamel and myself in order to lose the race might be more than 5 seconds so I decided to not do it too aggressive because I don't have to worry a lot about it so here we are in the final lap of the race heading into the final corner of the race we're just going to celebrate our first podium of this season it's our first win of this season we're going to cross the line to win the Italian Grand Prix here in Elite League Racing Cup finally finally after those races of a fierce suffering of pressure by spinning or throwing away those podiums finally we, we've done it we won the race the same place as we won the last time in that previous season so we have won the race ahead of Tamal and Victor so that's it then that's the race over So these are the results of the race. Uh, I won the race as obviously uh, because we just done it that thing. Although Tamal finished second and Victor finished third. During that group chat, Bernie just said that they're just going to change the podium because I don't know man, I think I think they're just doing those polemical things and and they say that Victor is going to finish second instead of Tamal. So it might be a second and third position swap. Although Bernie finished fourth, Jovan finished fifth, Ahmed finished fifth, sixth, I mean Leopold seventh, Santiago Alatorre eighth, Kludak ninth, Martin tenth, although he was just leading the race in a dominant way, although he just fell to tenth position unfortunately. The Archman, Christer Chitos, Jose Vettere, and my teammate Saxi and those two more finished outside the points so this is it guys if you like these videos please make sure you leave a like and if you want to be a part of Mexico Balls please consider subscribing to be subscribing to this channel and also turn on the notifications if you want to miss any of my videos and also if you want to join my my twitch to visit my twitch here it is in the link is in the description down below and also my discord server if you want to explore it which is also in the link is in the description down below i mean which is in the description down below so have a nice day goodbye